YouTube. Kid Barracuda. I'm in a junkyard in Cocoa, Florida called Cocoa Auto Salvage. Uh, this is a, this isn't a you pull it. This is a uh, just a regular junkyard. Uh, we're getting a radiator out of here and uh, online at carpart.com. They listed the radiator for I think it was eighty five dollars or something like that. And uh, Dre's getting it for sixty five dollars. Uh, the U Pullet Yards had dropped their price on radiators. They used to be fifty dollars. Now they charge thirty five. So this is a seventy nine Lincoln Continental. I happen to see it off in the distance. So I came over here to shoot a little video. We got another Lincoln over there, eighty three Mark. I'm gonna walk over there next. Uh, these aren't the super old cars, but still, I figured I'd uh, shoot a little video. See, uh, uh, looks like it's, these are the keys right here for it. Nice plastic, nice and soft. The grill's not busted up. All the fenders come right, right to the front markers, huh? These cool little gills on the side. These, oh, these are your thing. light up too? Or is it just this? When I was a kid, one of my father's friends had one of these, a white one, with uh, with that maroon burgundy on it. And white and burgundy interior, I believe. This is still pretty clean, huh? It's got an A-track system in it. Look at the A-tracks everywhere. Look at the burgundy in the seats. There's some Ford. Another Ford. Big track thing in there. Dash is nice. There's a build sheet right here. All the seats are nice. Uh, the back on the top's got a little dry rot spot. It's nice visors. Wow, those are nice. Visors usually peel away pretty quick. Doors look really clean. Look under the hood. What are these having them? 79? They got a 460 in it? Or a 350? 351. Oh, this bitch is heavy. Stayed up. Hood's in real nice shape. I don't know, that's kind of solid. Some wide valve covers on this thing. It's a, um, well, that says modified, 351 modified, and this says 6.6 .6 right beside it. Uh, D9VE9C. Four eight five eight A. The four hundred. I don't know if you can read that. Four hundred modified motor. I had to push that hood down. I was like, I'd like my soda over there. Where's my soda? <laughs> so 
set the temperature. Do a little temperature gauge on the, on the mirror. That's cool. Oh, can't open. You got a bumper in there, jammed the door. Can't walk it that way. Walk over here to the other Lincoln while we're still recording. I'll come back for my soda. Probably that one's chewed up. <laughs> a nice air cleaner in there if you need that. Pretty nice lights. So there's some small little hairline cracks in them, but nothing really. In the nose, I was telling Dre that it'd be pretty sweet to make a custom frame and put a 440 or something in it, make it real drive and make a sleeper out of it, race car kind of deal. I was on Craigslist the other day and I seen a, a t I think it was a 2005, 2006 or something like that Mustang shell from the firewall forward was cut off. But the rest of the shell was there from the firewall back. They wanted eight hundred and fifty dollars for it. And I thought that'd make a pretty cool drag car and stuff. If you've seen my other video of that Mustang drag car and stuff. I had a Mustang drag car that I built before and I ended up selling it back to the guy I bought it from. And um I never actually got on the track with it. I tried to build an S I wanted to build an S C C A race car and uh before and uh I dumped forty thousand dollars in a Mustang one time building up a race car supercharge car and uh it's one of the one of the things I wanna do is I haven't been down a track yet so I wanna I wanna build a track car. This is that crossfire. <laughs> the thing's mangled, huh? Can you tell the crossfire? <laughs> The back end's pretty clean though. I uh, I get these pictures on my computer. Someone took a, a, a SL600, I think it was, and a Mercedes, and they bought it in sections, all from junkyards, and made their own tubular chassis, and put a 350 motor in it, and made out like a, a race car. keep that in the back of my mind uh, some way to make a really nice sleeper that'd be a sleeper something that you really wouldn't expect like this you wouldn't expect this to have like a 440 in it with some nice crazy side pipes like and barking at you at a stoplight <laughs> Cape Cod Cuda signing out thanks for watching